I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This is an ASUS X509M model. The exact model for this one is kind of pretty long. It's an X509MA-BR407TS. That information can be found on the bottom. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove the battery or replace the battery if yours is not holding up any more charge or you just uh, feel like it's inflated and it's pressing over the uh, touchpad so you won't want to change it and by replacing the battery you're not going to change any configuration in the system or anything like that it's really simple you can do it at home it takes only five to ten minutes and first thing first you're going to power up the laptop you're going to flip it upside down and in here we're going to see a whole bunch of screws there's a single screw missing on this one and we're going to grab out of the screwdriver set i'll be using an ifixit screwdriver set these are one of the best screwdrivers out there we're going to be using a phillips number one from this set if you get the pro set they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers if not grab yourself a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and powers 0.3 millimeters we do so on hand, two on hand we also need a spatula a plastic rod or or a wood anything will be okay that is not conductive all right with all this on hand we just go get and remove all the screws there's a three types of screws the short screws which is on the front row of the laptop on the front the mediums are the side i am imagining they met two i don't know because this one is missing and the longest screws are the back ones so we're going to keep them in a three different piles so you don't mismatch them also, if you guys find my videos useful and helping you guys out to do your own upgrades or replacement of the components, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Also, when you remove the battery and you install the new battery, there's a whole uh, trick that you can do to make your battery last longer and you should do that for every new battery i'll explain that in a second all right to open the bottom cover you want to grab your opening tool and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest and you just want to twist like that go all around twist it go in the back twist it go on the other side you start twisting it and you want to hear those click sounds that's normal that's what you want to do and now you want to grab it from the sides bring it up wiggle around and it will release the bottom cover so you can put that to one side and we can see the battery right away here simple battery and the battery is a 7.6 volt 32 watt hour battery so pretty much if you want to know how much ampere is divide 32 by 7.6 capacity 4212 milliamp all right and the model for this one it is right over here is model v21n1818-1 i'll try to get the link for the this one i'll leave it in the video description all right to remove the battery there's a three screws one right here there and there but before we remove the screws we need to unlock the hook where the jack is to unlock it you just have to push this metal cover back by half a millimeter just like that and it just clears this plastic right here you want to put your spatula underneath at the back of the cables and you just want to lift it up towards the ceiling like that and that's how you remove disconnect the cable next you want to start removing the three screws that touches the battery All the screws are the same. Grab the battery from the front, pull it forward because there's a the tiny hooks that goes right underneath. This hook goes right there. I will show you in a sec. Anyway, so let's say you got the new battery. This one is kind of dusty. You want to put your battery down, make sure the screw holes match. You stick this hook right underneath this plastic. Bring it down, make sure the screw holes are looking good. Put the three screws first for the battery. Once you put the screw for those, now you want to bring, make sure the hook is all the way back. Bring it down evenly, 
over the power connector, make sure it's over, don't slide it sideways. Push it down and with your finger, you wanna bring this hook back over. It's not down yet. There you go. Bring it over, just about like a half a millimeter. And that's it. Now, the last thing down here would be to grab the bottom cover, put it over and just pinch the sides. Make sure you hear those nice click sounds in the front. And once you hear those click sounds, you start putting the bottom screws right over. Remember the short screws goes in the front and the medium and the long screws. Now, I highly recommend you guys do not power on the laptop once you put the new battery in. Make sure it's powered off and then you wanna connect the charger and leave it charging for at least five to six hours. After five to six hours, you wanna power on the laptop without the charger plugged in for at least as long as it takes with a, in a short load, I forgot to zoom out, with a short, any, like a, with a light load, let's say YouTube videos or anything like that, don't put any gaming or anything like that. And then you wanna bring down the battery to, I would say about, what, 25%, 30%. Once it's on 25, 30%, you wanna power it up and then you wanna connect the charger for another five to six hours. And after that, you can power it on, use it the way you wish. That first, cycling the battery is very, very important for the new batteries. So do that before you start using it the way you want it. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. If you have any questions or requests, please feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.